Finally today, let's end with three interesting raises that are interesting enough and timely enough that I didn't want to hold them for the interesting raise episode that we'll do in a couple weeks. First, Sorare is an Ethereum-powered marketplace for creating and trading football NFTs. And by football, I mean soccer. So, you know, look, the NBA can't have all the NFT fun, quoting the block. Sorare has raised $50 million in a Series A. The round was led by venture firm Benchmark, an early backer of Uber, Instagram, and Twitter. Benchmark's general partner, Peter Fenton, has also joined Sorare's board of directors. Sorare CEO Nicholas Julia told The Block. Other investors in the round include venture firm Accel, Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian, and Barcelona striker and Lionel Messi teammate Antoine Griezmann, among others. With fresh capital in hand, Sorari looks to expand its current team of 12 to 30, onboard the world's top 20 football leagues onto its platform, start making efforts, and launch a mobile application by year end, Julia told The Block. And, quote, we see NFTs as a trillion-dollar market with several winners, Julia said, end quote. So there's that. Yes, still working on an NFT bonus episode maybe next weekend. So as I think we've mentioned Before, as well, NFTs are largely built on the Ethereum blockchain, which makes sense if you understand that Ethereum was designed to be more than just money. It was designed to be almost a software-like infrastructure layer on the blockchain. In the most maximalist view of what Ethereum could do, backers believe that Ethereum will power an entire Internet 3.0, away from any sort of centralized powers at all. Well, to do that, you're going to need Ethereum to be way more robust, which leads us to interesting raise number two, Optimism, which plans to help scale the Ethereum blockchain with a Layer 2 protocol, and which raised a $25 million Series A led by Andreessen Horowitz. Quoting the block again, Optimism is currently in the midst of a phased rollout and will be ready for large-scale production later this year. We are thrilled to partner with Optimism and to help support the Ethereum ecosystem as it continues its rapid growth, Chris Dixon and Ariana Simpson wrote in a blog post from A16Z. Optimism is developing Optimistic Rollup with the aim of boosting the scalability of Ethereum. Optimistic Rollup is a scaling solution that aggregates transactions into a Layer 2 protocol. The startup's work is perhaps particularly relevant today given the high cost of transacting in Ethereum. Optimism rolled out its preliminary mainnet last month after going live with a limited test network in September, end quote. Yeah, whenever we get around to talking about NFTs, we'll probably need to remember to talk about the huge amount of gas fees that you have to pay just to get your hands on that NFT video of LeBron James. And by gas, I don't mean petroleum. I mean the fees, the pricing value required to successfully conduct a transaction or execute a contract on the Ethereum blockchain platform. Those things are going to need to come down if Ethereum really is going to explode like everyone thinks. And finally, Every time Chris and I have done a clubhouse these last couple of weeks, someone at Otter AI has posted a live real-time transcript of our conversation on Twitter, and it's been insanely good, like extremely accurate. You might remember me experimenting with Decrypt last year, but I've experimented with every audio transcription service under the sun, and Otter is basically the best I've seen so far by far. Like, it's very precise, even in things like clubhouse rooms where there are multiple speakers talking on top of each other. So I took notice of the fact that Otter AI has raised a $50 million Series B, quoting VentureBeat. There's no shortage of competition in the audio transcription market, which is estimated to be worth $31.82 billion by 2025. But Otter AI, formerly AI Sense, the startup behind speech-to-text service Otter, has managed to carve out a niche for itself in the five years since its founding. The company... The company's revenue skyrocketed 800% in 2020, as Otter saw adoption in more than 230 countries, and the company says it has transcribed over 100 million meetings, spanning 3 billion minutes to date. Otter AI was founded by CEO Sam Liang and VP of Engineering Yun Fu in 2016. Liang led the Google Locations team that developed the Blue Dot on the Google Maps app and launched mobile startup Alohar, which was acquired by Alibaba in 2013. Otter AI's core technology, which was developed by a team hailing from Google, Yahoo, Facebook, MIT, Stanford, Duke, and Cambridge, is optimized for conversations. It can distinguish between speakers using a technique called diarization, 
generating a unique print for each person's voice. Transcriptions are processed in the cloud and made available from the web, in Dropbox, or in Otter AI's mobile app for iOS and Android devices. There, they can be searched, copied, and pasted, scrolled through, edited, and shared with a word cloud at the top of each recording that tracks most used terms. Otter's high accuracy is a result of the algorithms that enable the app to learn, a spokesperson told VentureBeat. These were especially focused in the early days on English speakers with a variety of accents, regional within the U.S., and also optimized to address accents like Liang's and the billions of English speakers on the planet. Liang had always been frustrated that accents were not understood by natural language processing systems, end quote.